Colorado has amongst the highest rates for gray divorce. That's divorce for those 50 years of age and older. Denver is number one for senior divorcees, according to SmartAsset.com. Over the past 20 years, the overall divorce rate in the United States has declined. But for those over the age of 50, the divorce rate has actually doubled, according to research. In fact, for adults 65 and older, the divorce rate has tripled. Why might that be? Well, in Denver and in Colorado in general, we're a healthy and fit place to be. For some, it's self-discovery. The stigma of divorce isn't what it used to be. For others, it's finally having an empty nest. A variety of factors often lead to more opportunity for those 50 years of age and older to make choices for their happiness. Couples in this age bracket usually acquire substantial marital property that can be difficult to value and divide equitably, especially assets such as retirement plans and closely held business interests. April Jones, CEO of the Jones Law Firm, shared more about gray divorces and what financial considerations couples should think through. People are necessarily approaching retirement age. They're either retired, about to be retired, you know, want to be retired. And so that completely turns the divorce up on its head because your money earning years are behind you potentially and your, your income years of no income are ahead of you. So how are you paying alimony? How are you paying... You're dividing the retirement that you plan for one family for two families. So that's half as much retirement potentially. April also noted that women tend to be hardest hit in most great divorces, as oftentimes they don't remarry like men and don't always have the resources to help themselves through such difficult times. April's advice to women and men 50 and older going through divorce considerations is to get some counseling and see if what's considered broken can be fixed or salvaged. And if fixing the marriage is out of the picture, then she recommends reaching out to a law firm to get sound legal advice to help guide you through a thoughtful plan for the divorce, which also looks seriously at your financial stability once you've moved on to the next chapter. Bottom line, great divorce is growing across the country. It may lead to even more financial insecurity as individuals are less likely to be working and have a steady income stream. And it's typically more expensive for two people to live separately than to live together. So for better or worse, seek professional advice, especially for money matters. And that's your business brief. For Nine News, I'm Ryan Frazier.